what I'm after actually is trying to capture the experience of what it's like uh, in this beautiful place uh, and this time of year this time of day so the first thing I look at when I've looked at this scene out here is uh, the proportion and I'm uh, this is called the division of space so I don't want to put the uh, church right in the center of the painting so I'm dropping this down and I'm looking at the geometry the negative space and the pattern that runs uh, in this upper area I've also kind of squeezed in the uh, building that's over here to the church so uh, the composition kind of moves together a little more the division of space that moves down here then I've got this little slip of uh, meadow that's kind of coming in through here so I'm looking at this kind of elongated rectangle here I'm looking at this rectangle movement here a thin slice of a band that moves right through here and then this bottom drop off in through there. The interesting thing, this paper that I'm using has an external sizing and all that means, you know, when you see the paper itself you can't even see it, but that helps me in the lifting process. So I'm going to just lift a few patterns here. I'm using a three-quarter inch flat brush and uh, with some of these trees I'll just come in here and pull in a few lighter shapes. So you see I'm just kind of lifting out some of these patterns against a little darker shape. And I love this uh, lifting process. I use it all the time in my work so I can work back and forth. I'm not always going lighter to darker as most people do in watercolor, but I can go darker and then lift back to a lighter shape. And then I'm going to come back and hit a few little uh, marks for a fence. Pick some of this up, get a little darker value, a little ultramarine with a touch of uh, cobalt violet. I use this because it just kind of gives a little body to the mark of the paint. And uh, I'm going to hit just uh, a note or two of these fence posts. And what that will do is it will create a little depth in the painting. It's going to push some of this uh, back, create a little contrast, and it doesn't have to be a lot of detail, just enough to, to give it a, a little oomph. And then with that uh, round sable brush, I'm going to just bring this to life, creating a little bit of value here, just to along the edge. So it gives this uh, fence post something to sit on.